Salvete omnes, this is I'm Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek. Now that we've beaten Frostman, let's move on to the next stage. Grenade Man. I'm Grenade Man! Yes, you are, sir. He's even shaped like a grenade. Grenade Man's stage is sort of a... I don't know, some sort of factory-ish kind of thing. Here we have a new enemy. I don't know what exactly these things are called. They're... They're worms that continuously spawn, and that enough is a reason to beware of them. And these... If you shoot them enough, they blow up. That's gonna come into play later. Some of them you want to leave unblown up. Don't have a choice on those. The helicopter guys are called monopellerns, I believe. Yeah, here are some... I did not mean to hit that. See, here are some that you want to leave intact. Because if you blow them up, they expose bottomless pits, and, well, nobody really likes them. Nobody wants that, do they? Here we have a bit of a puzzle. You want to destroy the blocks in such a way that get over to here for a bolt. But that jump is a little too high to make unassisted, so go Mega Ball. And these are count bombs. When you stand on them, they count down, and once they hit zero, they explode. Boom, 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 boom. Grenade Man's stage is very explodey. And now we have a count bomb that can move. And now we have some count bombs over bottomless pits. Rather deadly, that. And that was another big telly. These guys. And there's another bolt. Boss door already? It doesn't have the Dr. Wily symbol on it. Actually, this is a sub-boss door. There are four sub-bosses in Mega Man 8. And here's the first one. Urun, I think it's called. The annoying thing about sub-bosses is they don't have a health meter. There's actually a certain special weapon that can take this guy out in two hits. But you don't get that until the second half of the game, so... Obviously you're not gonna have it the first time you face him. You wanna use charge shots against this creature. If you time it right, you can actually completely... Uh, destroy the junk he creates when he... yeah. If you time, get your timing and aim right, you can completely destroy his junk shield. Not to be confused with the junk shield from Mega Man 7. Just kind of dodging the same... whoops. Well, I totally missed that opportunity. But he's gone. And we get an item. And a continue point. Ready. The item we just got was a rush adapter. At least I think that's what they're called in this game. A rush cycle. Uh, you don't get to see what that is right now, but it will come up two videos down the road. And now we have these hammers. It's usually best to go 
Whoops. I always think there's something down here and there isn't. It's probably best to go past these things when they're... Uh, in back of you. You can get by them when they're in the back or the front, but I find back works better. If you do it at the... if you go past them at the wrong time, then... Well, they hit you. And considering that later on in this stage they'll be combined with bottomless pits, you don't want that. And these are basically like... well... Well, they have fuses, and there are enemies that are on fire. Any guesses what happens next? Yes, we're standing on exploding blocks. There are a couple of bolts in here that you really have to be quick if you want to get... ...or for which... ...like... ...this one. The minute that you can get by that one exploding block, get the heck out of there and slide forward and get that bolt. Waste no time. Yeah, here is what I was talking about. You get hit by one of these things and... You're in trouble. I think the hammers even block your shots, I'm not sure. Just wait for that fire met to commit suicide. Geronimo! We're almost out. There's some weapon in G, not that I need it. Oh yeah, and I guess since we got a special weapon from Frostman, I should demonstrate the Ice Wave. Of course, I don't have any enemies around. Well, except that one. Yeah, it just... It's a fairly useful weapon as far as ground-based ones go. Dr. Wily, Shaden, door. It's time for Grenade Man. What this guy does is he has a variety of attacks during this... You can either do that... Well, every third attack is always the dashing across the screen. And you can shoot a... You can shoot a bomb forward like that. Or you can drop one down like that. And you already saw he can shoot three of the other kind of bombs. Whoop. And when his life gets low enough, he does that. Which doesn't harm you, but... Just makes maneuver maneuverability a little more difficult. And that felt good, he said. Yeah, he's a masochist. And he likes explosives a lot, obviously. One of the his introductory, introductory quotes is, Yeah, say hello to my cute bombs. I love that one. You beat Grenade Man, you got Flash Bomb. Which is a pretty basic forward moving explosive weapon. You get 25 shots of it. And if there were any destroyable walls in Mega Man 8, no doubt it would be the weapon that would allow you to get through them. Because if there is an explosive weapon in the game and there are destroyable walls, then the former tends to be what destroys the latter. But there aren't any destroyable walls in this game. So the flash. Also, I should and I should note the flash bomb actually creates an explosion that lasts a little while after the bomb explodes that can still continue doing damage. But whatever. That went pretty quick. Two of the first circle of robot masters down. So that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.